Hey, hey guys, so I'm just here to film a quick little intro to this vlog because I did sort of film one but I ended up filming this vlog as a very very long vlog so I've split it into two halves so make sure you look out for the next vlog and that will be episode three in the moving series and just so excited to share all this stuff with you guys so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it this is the second reading vlog in my moving series and i actually got the cues in this one and move in and i'm really excited for you guys to see that so yes i'm gonna go now bye <laughs> okay hey guys so welcome to a another moving vlog so today is the day we're actually supposed to get our keys and move into the house. It's half nine at the moment and we haven't heard anything. And I've never obviously done this before, so I don't really know exactly what's supposed to happen. But I'm very, very anxious. But hopefully, fingers crossed, later today we will pick up the keys. But yeah, I'm just very anxious, very nervous, feel sick. And I still have lots of books to find boxes for which i don't have so i don't know how we're gonna figure that out um but yes today's moving day anyway on a positive note and yeah i'm gonna vlog today moving in should be really fun don't know if my camera battery is gonna cooperate with me today but we shall see but yes this morning's plans are and jamie's gonna get his hair cut so i think while he's getting his hair cut i'm gonna go and get a coffee and sit and read for a bit just to try and de-stress a little bit and then once we've done that we're going to go to B&Q, we're going to get some paint and then we'll probably come back and try to box up some more of these books and I have a video I need to edit as well so yeah it's going to be a very very busy day but I'm excited and I'm excited to bring you guys along as well. I'm just feeling quite happy because I posted the announcement and unhaul video last night and I got so many lovely comments and it's just made me really really happy and really emotional and I just feel very very lucky to have all of you guys here who make this possible and yeah I'm just feeling very very grateful so yes it's gonna be an emotional day <laughs> but yeah we're gonna go now and then I will update you guys later. Do you wear that crunch? Autumn is coming! Jamie just finished getting his hair cut and I just got a coffee and I bought some lavender as well because I had some fresh lavender for sale in the coffee shop and I just thought it'd be a nice little household present to myself because lavender is one of my favourite things ever. I love the smell of it, like obsessed with it, love the way it looks. So I got a little bunch but I wish I bought more now so I may go back later in the week and get some more if they still have any just to put in different rooms because I just love the smell. Um, but yeah, we're now going to quickly go back home and then we're going to go to B&Q and get the paint and stuff and hopefully we'll have heard something. The only thing I've heard so far today is that the seller solicitor has made verbal communication with them to confirm the exchange and completion and everything today. So, fingers crossed <laughs> we get some more news soon and we know what time we're getting the keys but it hasn't quite sunk in yet and I don't think it will until I have the keys in my hand and I will probably cry um, but yeah for now we're gonna go home and then go to B&Q so I'll update you guys a little bit later Hey guys, so we're just in B&Q now, 
getting like the last bits we need like paint and stuff um still no news yet but i'm getting a cute little plant and i think we might try and find like a really nice light for the living room um and also maybe a rug and stuff and then i think we might get some outdoor lights as well um but yeah i'll update you guys when i know what <laughs> Not really any actual updates regarding what time we'll be moving into the house i'm taking no news is good news but jamie's just gone to get some stuff from tesco ignore this we've been to b q and picked up paint and a lot of other things so yeah we bought like all the paint and stuff that we need and we picked up a bookcase from someone on facebook marketplace for jamie because as you guys have seen or heard recently jamie finally started reading books which I'm really happy about so we went and picked up a little bookshelf for him because he didn't have it in stock in Ikea when we went on Sunday so we got it from someone off Facebook so that is in the back of my car along with so many other random things but yeah no update yeah I think for now we're gonna go home we're gonna try to somehow pack up the rest of my books don't know what in because we've run out of boxes and we've only just got halfway through or maybe just under but yeah we need to pack all those up and then it's just a case of waiting really we have hired a van today so we can pick that up at three so i think even if we don't have the keys at three once we've got the van we will just start loading it up with things so at least when we get the keys we can like move stuff in um but yeah that's pretty much it also just because i have my makeup bag here next to me um people always comment on my videos asking me about like lipstick and stuff that i wear so i wear this one here which is the charlotte tilbury pillow top lipstick it's, i don't wear any other lipsticks and um, but i am about to run out which is like really really sad um it is a bit of a pricey lipstick but it is so worth the price like it feels really nice on your lips it doesn't dry and i love the color it's just literally the best so i just thought i'd mention that while i have it out because i know people do ask a lot um and also if i use a lip gloss it is always the soap and glory i think it's called like sexy mother pucker or something and that's the only other one i use as well um but yeah anyways i'm gonna go home now and i think just have some tea and then get packing the rest of the stuff so yeah as soon as i hear anything else i will update you guys but goodbye for now oh look what the owners left with some flowers and a little card so cute okay so we are in the house and this is just so weird and so surreal hasn't quite sunk in just yet to be honest but the owners left us a little card um, we're gonna have to like repaint a lot of things and like some things are gonna need replacing as well um but it's so exciting oh this is so cute oh we have a card how cute our first card um so yeah we are in the house so weird um so i'm gonna film a tour in a minute for my patreon of the house that's empty um but this is so freaking weird <laughs> So yesterday we just were so overwhelmed by how much stuff we had to do um so i didn't actually really film much at all yesterday i had originally planned to film like little time lapses of us unpacking things and all that kind of stuff but it was just far too busy for us to be able to do that we had like my mum and dad helping and a lot of like 
things needing to be put in the van because we've only got the van until 3 p.m today so we still have so much stuff to try and get in like such a short amount of time and dpd have just decided to deliver the dining chairs i think that it is today when they shouldn't be coming until friday and they're delivering them today this morning when i'm supposed to be boxing up the rest of my books at home ready to go in the van at half 10 and it won't let me change the delivery date, it says they can't. So now I have to stay here and delay that further. And it's just really annoying because I don't think we have enough time to be able to get everything in the van. We still need to get like my bed, my bookshelves, loads of other um, furniture. We need to go to my nan's to pick up my stuff that's there. So I don't know how we're gonna have time today and today's gonna be very busy. So I don't know how much of it I will actually vlog, but yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't what i wanted to but hopefully you guys have seen some things so far so i'm just in our bedroom at the moment um i'll show you what it looks like at the moment but it's very messy we haven't unpacked any of our stuff yet so yeah and obviously we had to sleep on the mattress on the floor last night we haven't got all of our like furniture and stuff um but yeah this is kind of the situation right now um so we stuffed the wardrobes full with suitcases and bags um mess everywhere of course i did manage to bring some books then um the floor needs hoovered so we just chucked the mattress on the floor last night um and there was literally just stuff all in the wardrobes that hi <laughs> needs to be unpacked so yeah it's a lot but yeah i need to unpack everything and i'll show you guys my library room really quickly so i need to put the open the curtains because it's very dark in here so basically this room i'm not gonna be able to really decorate for a while so obviously i need to repaint they're not staying and i need to repaint the room generally um and like fill in holes or things like that i need to repaint this entire room um and then i have this cupboard here which is just really really disgusting um so it basically is just like full of like old copper like this is an old house so it's all like copper things um and it's just like it goes all the way up um so i don't think realistically i'm going to use this so the plan is to knock this out and make this a wall hopefully in line with this one and just have this as one giant wall so that needs to happen so i can use that space um then this wall here is really big um but it has a huge radiator on it so I need to get this radiator removed um, so I can use this entire wall for bookshelves and then I'm going to get a small radiator under the window here I think. Um, so that needs to happen before I can do that so I can't actually unpack most of my boxes really for quite a while. Um, the Heineken box, so classy. Um, so yeah I can't unpack like my library room really. Um, I need a new door because this door is broken um, but basically I have this space here so if I can manage to paint this in the next day or so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put maybe like three of my bookshelves on here maybe one there if it will fit um, and then i'll build my reading chair here and then at least i have somewhere to film for now i have lots more <laughs> things here to sort out and i need to sort this room out because i think when lily and kat come to stay in a few days um they're gonna stay in this room so this room needs to be empty when they come um so yeah lots to unbox to be fair we got a lot done we managed to build the dining table last night um we just need our chairs which should be coming today but the kitchen is also an absolute mess um it's just filled with empty boxes and rubbish and like it's half unpacked and we do have like boxes of food like dry food um not stuff that goes in the fridge that we need to like organize but i need to clean inside here because there's a little spinny thing that i'm going to put most of like the tin stuff rice pasta all that stuff in um but it's dirty so i need to clean that and then i need to find the other jars i have like this to fill with things um because i have like my pumpkin seeds and flax seeds um that i want to put into like jars so i need stuff for that um but yeah for now i'm gonna clean the kettle and then make a cup of tea dpd should be here soon with the dining chairs so yeah i need to hurry up and then i need to go straight to my parents house and figure out what we're gonna do um so yeah i will update you guys in a bit
Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so what a palaver. So we ordered four dining chairs. To be fair, we did get them on eBay. Um, and I had that Texas one to say they'd be delivered. And I just opened the box and only two were in there. So I was like, what the hell? Like I ordered and paid for four, like where are the other two? And then I literally just got another text saying between quarter past one and quarter past two today, I'll be getting another delivery. So I assume the other two chairs are in that other delivery. But the thing is like we only have the van till three. Oh, I hate DPD. Why do they just? I mean, it says on the text you can change the slot, and then when you click it, it says that you can't change it. Like, what's the point in that? Um, so yeah, basically, my day is just gonna be stressful and ruined. And I've just decided to just sit here and enjoy my cup of tea for a minute before I leave and get into a panic. So, yay. On the other hand, though, this tea is so good. I've never tried those tea bags before. We got them when we went away. Um, and it is such a nice tea, like so good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have this cup of tea first and then I'm gonna go to my nan's. We're gonna pick up the couch. I have some boxes of stuff there. I don't know what's in the boxes. Basically, I had a student flat a few years ago and I, I never really stayed there, but I did buy like loads of stuff for it. And all of the stuff is at my nan's. I also have all like my Halloween stuff there um, and our couch. So I've got to go and get all that. And then somehow, get home, box up all my books, try and get them out. And I think we're gonna have to hire the van for another day if we're allowed to do that, but I don't know if we can. And I'm just stressing because I wanted everything in the house by tonight, just because then I can spend Thursday and Friday and Saturday actually sorting everything, because Kat and Lily are coming on Sunday. So yeah, like I wasn't expecting things to be done. Like the library room won't be finished for probably like at least a month. Um, but I just wanted everything in and yeah, it's just stressful. <laughs> Another positive, the floor's really comfy. I've had so much to sort out. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. Hello. Hi, Tilly. Hi, Tilly. Tippy. Hello, baby. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Wow, it has been a long day. So I didn't end up vlogging because I had to like rush all day to get things. And yeah, it's just been a struggle getting everything in the house today. Why is my phone going off? But we still need to get the bookshelves. But the thing is, I still need to paint the library room before I can actually put anything on the shelves, which is kind of annoying. Um, we might be able to paint tonight. I don't know. We still need to unpack like all of our clothes and like just so many things like so so many things but i have got a lot of the kitchen done today and a lot of stuff cleaned and just started putting bits and pieces away and most of the books are now in the library room like ready to be sorted so at least that's done we still haven't got a bed though because i don't know how we're going to get the bed here yeah everything's beginning to come together quite nicely which is really exciting i do have some book mail to unbox as well i have my luma crate in my fairy loot box but i think i'm gonna film an unboxing tomorrow if i have a chance what i do have here which i believe is from mind daisies because i ordered something off her etsy shop oh how cute oh that sticker just fell out oh how cute oh okay so look how nice the packaging is so cute and these little stickers came in it as well i love this little pumpkin one a little witch hat a little spooky cat oh i love those so yeah i ordered these from the etsy store mind daisies who is also books with Leo as well on youtube absolutely love her in her videos i ordered a couple of things from her store so here they are so i ordered these cute little autumnal stickers oh my god i love them these are so cute so yeah i'm gonna do like a little journal spread and 
wanted some autumnal stickers and I also got these Halloween themed ones as well. Look how, look how adorable these are. <gasps> I'm obsessed. So yeah, all the spooky autumnal stickers. So hopefully I can do a journal spread soon. And then I also ordered this bookmark as well. Just a little spooky vibes. Look how cute this is. I love it. It's such good quality as well. Absolutely stunning bookmark. Absolutely love those. So yeah, I will have her shop linked down below if you guys would like to go and check out her store. Highly recommend. Her stuff is so cute and so is her channel as well. Um, but yeah, now I have this Warpstone parcel. And I'm pretty sure I know what this is, to be honest. Um, okay, no it isn't. It isn't what I thought it was going to be. That will probably be arriving tomorrow. Okay, so this is a pre-order that I got. It is the new Paula Hawkins book. And I actually really, really love Paula Hawkins books i loved gallon train and into the water i thought they were so good so i'm really excited to read this one this is a signed waterstones exclusive edition and it has black sprayed edges and this is called a slow fire burning if i didn't already say that oh i love this end papers so cool and then of course it is signed here um so i can't remember what this is about i'm not going to read the synopsis either because i like to go into my thrillers knowing very little so yeah i'm really excited to pick this up because i did enjoy her two other books so i'm sure i love this one might pick this up soon because it's like that time of year now where i do want to read thrillers um but yeah nice book mail basically all i've done today is just move boxes in pick things up from other places and just kind of try to get things in the room they should be and unpack things so yeah the kitchen's kind of unpacked and to be honest the living room is like looking so much better we have our couch in now um and I, for now i've put my old reading chair in here it's not staying in here i don't think but i'll show you guys it so ignore all the mess here this needs to all go upstairs um but i've just put it here for now with my table that little black table should be going in my reading room with my reading chair um, but I just thought this will look quite cute for now. So I put that there. I do need to figure out where I'm going to put my Halloween decorations and stuff. I've managed to sneak a few out. And I've put the Halloween themed stuff out in the kitchen for the most part. So that looks really cute. I just noticed there's something under the dust jacket on this book. Oh my. What was that noise I just made? Oh, wow. Okay, I love that. That's so nice. But yeah, I need to put all the Halloween stuff out. But I'm going to wait until the house is actually sorted. And put all that out i've been like mostly putting like food into jars i've bought a lot of jars so i've been doing that sorting out all that stuff and just kind of just kind of trying to get organized so yeah i know again i'm sorry with this vlog i haven't been able to film like cool time lapses and stuff i will try to film some like when i can it's just been a little bit of a nightmare to try and like get everything as fast as i can the good news is we have rented the van for an extra day so we have the van tomorrow as well so anything that is left there or like the bed i'll be able to bring tomorrow so i need to go and pick a jamie up and then i need to schedule this video um and i also need to do some emails and more editing but i don't know if i'll have time to do that tonight because i definitely want to do something tonight whether it be sort our bedroom out and unpack like all our clothes and stuff or sort out the spare room or start painting the library one of those but a little bit stressed but still feeling very happy to be in our own place and it is really coming together so nicely and it's so cute i'm really excited to have kat and lily come and stay now as well i just hope i have everything ready in time for them like the house isn't going to be finished and there's still going to be boxes everywhere but i at least want the room they're going to be staying in to be nice so yeah hopefully i can do that and we need to go food shopping as well we also need to go to b q again so i think i'll just do all that tomorrow um but yeah it's just really exciting like we've already planned so many things we want to like change and do and like we're going to do like something to the garden which will be really exciting and then like just some other things we're planning on and it's just gonna be so fun like over the next year to just like tweak things in the house and add things but yeah i'm really happy with how everything's looking at the moment and this house is just absolutely perfect for us it's the perfect size it's just ugh, i'm so happy and i just can't wait to do my library room so yeah anyway i'm gonna stop rambling and go and get a drink because i'm so thirsty and tidy up a little bit more and then i'm going to my parents house to have dinner and pick up the bookshelves and stuff so 
yeah i don't know when i'll next update you guys maybe there or maybe when i get back here i'm not too sure yet but yes those are all the updates i have for now <laughs> So I'm just in the car looking absolutely horrendous. Um, yeah, it's currently quarter to nine. So we've been for dinner at my parents' house and we're just picking up the last bits. We've got one more trip to do after this. I don't know if we'll definitely do it tonight or not. Um, we've dismantled the bed. Fingers crossed we can get it back together again. Um, and we've picked up the bookshelves and then turns out I had a crap ton of stuff still in like the spare room and like other places like that. So yeah, we've kind of got everything in my mum's car and then my dad and Jamie have gone in the van with the bookshelves and all the other crap. Um, so yeah, I honestly don't know how I even have this much stuff considering I only had like one room. I don't know, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So I haven't updated you guys for a while as seems to be the theme of this vlog and haven't filmed anything. But again, it's just been a kind of a scramble to get everything in the van. So yeah, I don't know if I will update you guys again tonight just because by the time we get everything unloaded and in the house, it's gonna be super late. So yeah, I will probably update you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow is just gonna be straight unpacking. I don't think we need to pick anything up. So yeah, it should be like a better day for vlogging tomorrow. But yeah, bye. Do you wanna say hello? Hello. <laughs> So it's also future Jodie from the intro, but kind of past Jodie by the time you're watching this. <laughs> Coming on to wrap up the vlog because I also didn't wrap up the vlog. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will have the rest of the vlog up in episode three just because I ended up filming so much. So there will be an episode three in the moving series, which I'm very excited for you guys to see because we start working on my library room in that video and it's gonna be a really, really fun one. So make sure to look out for that vlog. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video and for all your wonderful comments about the move and stuff. It means so much to me and yeah, I'm just really, really happy. I can't wait to keep sharing all of the content with you. And I will also have some extra content up on my Patreon, which you can find down below, along where we also do monthly buddy reads, we have a discord there's lots of extra videos on there and things like that so if you're interested in any of that make sure to click the link in the description box all of my social media will also be linked down below but yes thank you so much for watching this video leave a little house emoji if you made it to the end and be sure to like it and i will see you in the next video bye